to perish. Just get my Baron straight here. Bear with me. Hello again, Parish. How's everyone doing? Obviously, we're going to be playing some more Phoenix Point today. I feel a lot better than yesterday, thankfully. So, hopefully, we'll be having a good time. Although, I don't remember where we are in Phoenix Point. I, I forget every week. You know, if I had time, I'd play it more than once a week, but uh, that's just how it goes. Hey, HB. Howdy, howdy. How's it going? Last I remember, we just replaced my legs. Uh, yeah, that's probably right. I do remember we were finally getting into, like, bionics and stuff. Hey, Cypher. Welcome to this. Alright, give it a couple more minutes here. I was here last week, trust I'm not dead. I I don't think I've lost any soldiers yet. Which presumably means you're not dead. Okay, let's get ready to go ahead and load up the save here. about getting on with it. Okay. So, we got our lads down to Summerall. For some reason. They're also a little tired. Everybody's a little tired. Alright, understandable. We got like a mission in an art. Antarctica, and I can't quite get there. I think we get there by activating the Phoenix, this R&D base. And then maybe being able to jump down, but even then, we'd have to get over there, right? We can't just fly over there. This is our flight range. So if that's the case, we kind of have to go over here. You gotta go here, right? To PHB one. Is that is that right? We gotta go to America. I mean, yeah, that's basically. Basically, we gotta get through to America. Because if I remember, that was like our most important one. There's three active flyers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Catacombs of Despair. That's the one that was recommended we take on soon as possible. Complete research. All right, we'll do that later. Prisoner of Ice, also in the Americas. Frozen is not. That's something we could take on. And Rise by Sin by Virtue Fall. Can't remember if I was advised to hold off on this one or not. Apparently, it's overcast over there. I don't know why I got to know that, but apparently that's just a good to know type thing. A kind but like, gesture. hey, it's like with twenty dollars in actual money, with the comment being money, yeah, weather and whatnot, you know. Thank you, Cypher. Like you don't have to do things like that, but you do anyway, and I, I very appreciate it. One hour till heavy cannon deployment. Oh yeah, I don't even. 
Let's find out. You know, we got one hour. Let's let our lads heal. Okay, so now we can make uh, the Hell 2 cannons and the Hell 2 armor. Armor? Magazines. I'm still a little tired. We went to South America. When did we go to South America? No, the, the big beastie went to South America. Also, there's... There's, there's like a big hole in South America. Um... Okay. So, does that mean... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That means I can head back to... Where the hell are you, Parrish? Well, I don't know. Now you have this, though. But I also really like the candy cane gun. I mean, I guess I could have you take both of those, but you also have a shotgun now, and you're, like, skilled for shotguns. Yeah, I guess we'll, we'll keep you with that. I think that works. So what about, um... So what about Jimenez? Maybe Jimenez could take... Take the candy cane gun. Yeah, that clash is so freaking hard. You know, just take a regular one. It actually looks way smoother on you. That'll work. Yeah, that looks good. Alien? Kinda. I believe mutant is the term that we're looking for. Yeah, and Parrish got, has new feet. It's pretty great. I wish you could color the feet, though. I'm kind of disappointed that you can't. Uh, apparently, our armadilla is quite hurt. It's going to take a while to repair. But the gift are fully healed up. So that is uh, TR Hack, Dorfman, and Martinez, and Tanky. So, you know, I'm going to send you all over here for now. Head this way. Okay. When you... When uh, Manta McFly is healed up, we're going to send you somewhere else. New Jericho Gauze Sniper Rifle. This thing doesn't seem that great. I still like the laser one more. We don't need this. We need to research more. Oh, we're about to research more bionics. I was going to say, I want to research more before I actually explore adding more bionics to people. Pandorans spawned from Behemoth will seed corrupting spores and hatch mind fraggers inside human settlements. Multiple havens have been reporting a worrisome behavior by flying Pandoran species. The raids seem to be targeted at specific key structures and proceed to quickly corrupt the entire haven. In some cases, the settlement and its citizens are completely overtaken by the Pandoran intelligence. Ah. We are carefully recording the data from such raids under classification code IF for infestation flights. Ugh. Do you have enough points to multi-class? I think so. Some weird stops you're making over there. Okay. Armadillo's almost healed up. Disrupting the Behemoth. The Behemoth will constantly emerge from the ocean and begin a horrible rampage, ruining several havens. We must do all we can to hinder its advance. Various acts of defiance against the creature will score disruption points. These include destroying a Charon, a Barith, or an Abaddon, and cleansing an infested haven. When enough disruption points are scored, the Behemoth will cease its rampage and go back into the ocean. Only this once, we shall embrace humanity and ally with our sinful brethren in the grand right of winged warfare for the sake of the dead god and all living things. Okay. Well, I mean, he's way over here. Moving at 60 kilometers. Okay. Which one is this? Seeking the Firebird? I think that's one I was supposed to hold off on, right? Oh no, this is one I... Yeah, this is one that uh, somebody wants me to do. Yeah. Hmm. Let's take a look at it. Okay. We made it over here. There's a person for hire. Suarez. There's Sniper. Alright, we already got Snipers from Sinidrion. I feel like we don't need more. Head up here? And let me know if there's anything up here worth talking about. Brute Champions and Scourge Alphas. Arthron Brute Champion. He's a big lad with a big pincer. Nearly fully armored Brute. While its combat capabilities remain similar to other types, its legs and torso are considerably strengthened. 
rendering it almost immune to standard weapons. Scourge Alpha, big gun. Subspecies equipped with a superior machine gun and is cap better capable of using it. Observation suggests the weapon has merged with the biological part of its arm. That's it. Two in it. Two creatures, huh? All right. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. There we go. This is what I wanted. I wanted to see more things that were over here. Not quite there yet. Okay. Head to this base. Keep bouncing. Keep bouncing. We're making it. Seeking the Firebird Exploration Site. Our operatives have been tasked with investigating what happened to the individual who recovered the Firebird Initiative files. Unfortunately, the settlement where this individual lived appears to have been destroyed some time ago. With some luck, we may be able to retrieve a journal or notebook that could further shed light on this mystery. Okay. Obtain the Firebird Initiative files. I feel like we should probably get both teams over here so I can fill up my squad. So why don't we hold up for a minute, head over here, and explore. Bacchanalia in Luverte. We have made contact with Luverte, a Sinedrian haven. Citizens' Assembly is supposed to vote on contributing resources to our cause, but a significant chunk of the population appears to be enjo busy enjoying some kind of orgy. Our operatives are invited to participate, should they be interested. Hmm. Make polite excuses. Allow our operatives to participate. Feel like, feel like we could be getting ourselves into trouble here if we participate in a bacchanalia. That this name implies more than just an orgy. All right. Might make polite excuses, excuses and attempt. I, I, I kind of wish there was an option that just says politely dec decline, but ask to observe. I guess that might be what this is. All right, I can't. I'm trying to think of who's in this team. Nah, Parrish isn't on this group. Sorry, Parrish. All right, sure, do whatever you want. As per Regulation 17.4b, the details of the event are to remain private. There is to be no log of which operatives choose to participate. Later on, the assembly votes to generously support the Phoenix Project. Well, there were no downsides to it, and we got food. Are you joking me? So close. All right, go ahead and explore here. Broken dreams at Camp John Brown. The atmosphere at Camp John Brown is subdued. An attack some months ago resulted in 200 deaths, remind reminding the citizens that their little utopia is surrounded by an apocalypse that simply will not go away when they stop paying attention. They never felt quite right since. Offer condolences... Castigate them for not taking the enemy seriously enough. Uh, fund the memorial to the deceased. We have plenty of mats. We can we can afford 25 mats. A memorial can't change what happened, but it can remind us that we don't just accept the deaths of our loved ones. We remember them and use our pain and our rage at the injustice of the universe as a source of strength in the fight to build a better world for the next generation. Alright. Sinidrian liked that. Good for them. Do a little bit more exploring. We haven't we haven't done just straight up exploring in a while. We've kind of just been beelining toward missions. The the gift has encountered what at first appears to be an Anu religious procession, but is in fact a scientific expedition. We've come seeking understanding of the divine principles that guide the reshaping of animals. The Anagnostas leading the expedition tells our operatives to understand why claw replaces hand. Why I become stock. It is only one step in a long road, of course. But how else will we reach enlightenment? Uh, Alright, you need help? Y'all need, need some help with this? The Exalted has taught us that we cannot achieve anything that truly matters without cooperation. We need each other to survive, and all our understanding is built on the accomplishments of others. There is no, no other path to enlightenment. Therefore, let us share in this knowledge together. 50 research aid. Totally worth it and frick off through Jericho. Uh, who cares what you think? Bunch of losers and assholes anyway. I'll do the biggest ass. Anyway, Titan's Grasp Exploration Site. The site is the location of the Titan's Grasp, an unsettling surrealist sculpture created by the artist Victoria Gutierrez. 
hewn into a steep cliff and decorated with swirling patterns of onyx and lapis lazuli. It was the artist's masterpiece, and also her downfall. Claiming that the voices she heard were real, Gutierrez killed herself after completing her work, her suicide note consisting of only a single word scribbled over and over. Yukat. I, I, I would say we study it. Why, why would you turn it into a place of worship? We're not Anu. I mean, we don't hate the Anu, but we're not the Anu. I'm not going to destroy it either. It's weird. We should learn more about it. While many critics dismissed Gutierrez as merely mad, there is far too much method to her madness for such a simplistic diagnosis. Unsettlingly, the shapes she depicted in such minute, swirling detail seem to be a close match for the behavior of the mist. 100 research points. I, like, stripped a day off of our bionic technology. Which, yes, I know that doesn't make sense. There's, like, another site right, literally right here. Nothing. Thanks. All right. Let's keep moving closer. Closer together. We'll we'll converge on a single point. Where that is, I don't know yet. Where are you going? Why are you going way over there? No. No, I don't want you to go here. Go here. Explore that. Uh, wait, you explore this. I need explorations happening, people. Welcome to hell. Thanks. Our operatives have set down outside an old prison facility. The whole place is still locked up tight. But using some heavy cutting equipment, our people have been able to get inside. There's hundreds of corpses in here, all in various states of decomposition. The smell is terrible, but what's truly horrifying is to think that all these people were just left to die. Not even given a chance to fight for their lives. I mean, search the prison, duh. Our operatives brave the awful conditions and manage to gather up all the resources they can find. The worst find of all is that there was food in the storage rooms while people starved in their cells. Ah, uh, that does suck. What the heck? Let's move over here. This is a message for the Phoenix Project. Hi. I thought you had what it takes. Uh, a phoenix rising from the ashes. The ashes. Ashes to ashes. Nothing but a myth. What are you talking about? You have struggled with stupidity at every turn. Suffered betrayals. Betrayals that brought humanity to the brink of extinction. Yet you can't see the obvious. Humanity cannot be saved without total transformation. Without total transformation. Without becoming pure. 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 Who do you think the savior should be? West. A coward West hiding behind his walls? We don't even like him. that spread the disease? Or the idiots who think we should embrace the infected and live with them as pets? Wait, what? The cure will cleanse the world and all flesh that opposes us will melt away. The Did I miss something with Sinedrion? The will be forgotten and a new order forged from blood. Blood! And titanium will rise. If the Phoenix Project thinks it has the strength to stop us, that's your foolish fantasy. You know where we are. Come if you dare. <laughs> Did I miss something with Sinedrion somewhere? I don't remember the part where they were like, hey, we want to make them our pets. Like, I know there's like a portion of them that were like, hey, let's co try to coexist. But I, I teamed up with the other group that was like, hey, let's make things that push the mist away. Anyway, we got a new list of bionic, biotic techno, bionic. It is bionic, not biotic technology. Echo head, Sinedrion, silent echo head augmentation, night vision, silent echo. All weapon attacks are silent. That's neat. Mirage legs, shadow step does not activate Overwatch. Oh my goodness, it does lower accuracy these legs, but the stealth and the vengeance torso. Proficiency with melee weapons. Combat matrix. Melee weapons cost one AP less. Dude, what? In the Zeus grenade. All right, cool. Huh. This thing seems neat as hell. 
we received a message from Subject 24 via an, an encrypted channel. Satellite triangulation has discovered an electromagnetic anomaly at the source. It appears to be a man-made structure. The Bionic Fortress. Good move, Phoenix Project. You think you can beat us at our own game? Tobias West thought the same way, and look at him now. Trembling behind his walls and adjutants, terrified of every sound in the dark. You'll be like that soon, and you'll never know when that sound turns out to be us. Alright, I feel like I'm gonna have to crush their butts. Oh, a scavenging site. Uh, let's see. Threat level high? Daytime? Pandora? Where is this? Right here? Okay. Uh, let's let this exploration go by real quick. You guys need to recover. Um, the swarms. Our operatives have set down near an abandoned farm. A quick search of the house and the ground reveals that the place has been picked clean. There are a lot of flies around, some of them bigger than the human thumb. Our team is taking precautions. There's a large barn around 200 meters from the main buildings of the property. It might be worth investigating. Investigate it. Ooh, baby. Uh, the closer our operatives got to the barn, the more agitated the flies become, swarming in spiral patterns and throwing themselves against our operatives. It's not dangerous at present, but it is exhausting. The barn contains a makeshift lab. One wall is covered by an enormous pulsating organism that seems to somehow control or affect the flies. Our operatives recover as much of the lab equipment as they can before getting out of there. It's a lot of tech and mats. All right. Yeah, uh... Yeah, the pure guy, he's, he's not fully right in the head. Let's go ahead and move over here. Let's let you guys recover real quick. And then we're gonna go do that, um... We're gonna do this mission up here. Alright. Now perish. Weak spot, inspire, close quarters combat. He already has melee proficiency. So would augmenting them with this make it even better? That is a... Wow. You, you, lo you lose a lot of soul points if we do this. You also lose your jetpack, which I'm kind of tempted to... That kind of makes me not want to do it as much. <laughs> Woof. I mean, the minus one AP sounds tempting. I don't want to give up the... I don't think I want to keep up... Ah, I don't want to give up the jetpack, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, I don't think I want to do that. What about Cypher? What do you got so far? Assault training, dash, chemist, return fire, max speed. Cautious, ready for action, onslaught. You don't have any extra classes to turn you into yet. I don't want reckless. Don't think stealth is useful for him anyway. Well, the vengeance torso doesn't give stealth. Neural torso. Oh, yeah, that's heavy lifter. And the juggernaut one is demolition state. I mean, I like the idea. Oh, no, we already have someone with that. That's right. Our mail our actual melee person already has that one. I like the idea of the echo head. Like all attacks are silent. That sounds pretty strong. Disruptor head. It's a new Jericho one. Disrupt target for one turn. Wait, what about the actual stats, though? Disruptor Head has less stealth, probably because of the giant glowing part down the center. 12 accuracy, though. Holy crap. That's pretty good. No armor bonus, but extra perception. This thing has 30 armor. And gives mind control immunity. It also looks like a brick. <laughs> I kind of like this one. Yeah, of course, you can only get two augmentation slots, so we'd only be able to upgrade one more thing. I like the idea of this one. 12 accuracy, that's huge. What else? We can get 8 accuracy if we go uh, with the with this torso as well. Plus double, double weight that we can lift. This one lowers accuracy. Well, of course, it's for melee. This ups accuracy by three. This one gives rocket leap. And gives speed. Why does this get the same pattern on you, but 
Parish doesn't have pattern stuff. What the hell? Hmm. Rocket Leap sounds very tempting. That, that says immune to goo, not immune to god. As far as I know, it doesn't do that too. I mean, this one at least doesn't lower accuracy. Alright. So Cypher's fully augmented. Well, at least as much as we're allowed to. As much as we're legally allowed to augment. We really need to find out how we can research better body armor. What can we build? Zeus grenades? <laughs> Whatever. Uh, hell cannons and mags? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They aren't cheap. And the Cyclops sniper, which is just not that great a weapon in my opinion. I mean, there's the golem heavy stuff. And there's the banshee, banshee stuff. Yeah. Guess we're okay with the Odin for now. Okay. So, yeah, rest up. Heal up. Get strong. There we go. We're strong. And then head over here. We're going to get some supplies. Purification grenades. Fire grenades. Fun. Reverse engineering the Redeemer is next. Okay. Threat level high, so hold on to your butts. I think we definitely take the armadillo to this one. Mm hmm. Vasilla Parish Cypher. And let's bring let's bring Camillo for the shield, so We probably don't need two snipers for this one, so I'm gonna have Eileen Dorfman stay by stand by, yeah yeah. Oddly enough, Camillo has less HP than anyone else on the team except Cypher. Despite the fact that you're the melee person? That seems like a problem. Poison will inflict damage at the start of your turn, and then the poison value will reduce. And you'll do less and less until there's no poison left. That's just how it goes. That's just how it be. He's a low... It, it, is he a low level? Is Camillo, like, low level? I didn't... Probably. I probably just wasn't paying attention. Don't he have a shield? He does have a shield. He's built in with a shield. Level 4 out of 7? Alright, understandable. Why do you start me on the side of the map every time? Okay. So here's us. There are 9 resource packs here. There's a lot of them. There's the, the spewer. Is there just one spewer? Possibly. Alright. Ar Armadillo. Scout. Blood I don't like that hit chance. He says before accidentally hitting spacebar and shooting. I mean, it did some damage, so that's good. There's a willpower spot here, in case we need it later. For now, let's go ahead and keep scouting forward. Okay, Camillo, you stay there. Perish. I'm gonna have you jump for now. Because I'm gonna want you to hit this as soon as possible, obviously. So jump here. This is going to. Hi, lads. All right. Quick aim doesn't do anything for us. Boom blast doesn't do anything for us. Yeah. Hold up. Cypher. Move up with your clank, clank, clanks. You could technically take a shot from here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you could. You won't work, but you could. Love it. Recover two action points for each enemy killed until the end of turn. For five will points. That's really good. Alright, just keep moving up for now. 
You did spot some additional enemies. What do we got? Scourge Alpha. Okay, he does have a gun. A uh, Shield Bearer, which probably won't have a gun. And another Scourge Alpha. Okay, so two of them got guns. Put that into your good-to-know folder. Ugh. This, this doorway sucks. There's like no defensive area around this doorway. Um... hate it. I actually hate it. Uh, hmm. I could have you run all the way up to there. Head to this corner, Vasilla. There, there. Yeah, I, I know he's there. Oh, actually, you can snipe from here now. So, you know what? Slap that paralyzing arm if we can. Nice. You hit the torso. Not what I was aiming at, but nice nonetheless. Then get out of dodge. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay. And then TR. Here I am. Let's do this. Yeah, you are here. Well said. Mm. Right here. Out. And then how about an overwatch, like, right there. Okay. This thing, of course, is going to spoo out some gas. We need to get rid of as much of that gas as possible. Here comes the Scourge Alpha. We did get an overwatch shot on it. It was great. 10 out of 10. Where are you overwatching? You overwatching at Parish? I think he is. Weird strap, bro. Ugh. Ugh, I hate it. Hate them arms. Ugh. It's too close. There's a brute champion over there, too. Big brute getting ready to scoot scoot. running okay shield all right well you're bleeding out pretty quickly I might be able to just leave you alone launch oh wait oh uh boom blast make it cheaper yes L launch grenade uh Right there. That was not perfect, Farish. Hey, can we, like, disrupt your overwatches, though? Maybe I'll just have the uh, machine gun go after it. Broke that launcher arm! Hell yeah. Okay, armadillo, armadillo. Move you up. Keep heading up towards this thing. The sooner we wreck it, the better. So close to taking out that head. Okay. Wait, can you get a shot on it from here? You might be able to. It's almost dead. There you go. Good stuff. I should have done rapid clearance first. Here's Rocket Leap. That is not very far. Better than nothing, though, I suppose. Okay, be ready up here. For that guy. I'll be right there. Let's not waste sniper ammo on this that was a good kill. beautiful minus three will points here I am let's do this 
suppose a rocket leap would be good at getting onto a roof? Covered. Probably. I want to get that, lad. Finger on the trigger. Okay. Yeah, take out that evolved gun. Do it again. Wow, that second shot was pretty bad. In comparison. That'll do. Okay. Alright, so no more missed. That's good. Just need to slap down some of these guys, and then hopefully we'll be in a spot where we can... Who are you going after? Well, first you're gonna get Overwatch. Enjoy your infection. Oh no! My giant armored shell. Really? Oh, you have a spit move. I appreciate the slap back, though. <laughs> and then he runs. He's like, oh shit! Ouch! Uh, med kit? Yeah, just, uh... There you go. Much better. And then bop it. Really? You hit the shield from that, from that distance? Alright. Alright, so this is gonna be your best trick shot yet. You need to shoot it without shooting. <laughs> right there! Right there! Beautiful. Be the best, <laughs> best trick shot ever. Okay. Now, I think it might be time uh, for Parrish to break out the shoddy, too. Now that I think about it. Time to get in someone's yeah. face. Woo! Dude, shotguns are very satisfying in this game. So far, I think they might be the most satisfying gun. Bop you in the head. Hmm. Let's think about this for a minute. Disrupt the target for one turn. Unable to use will point abilities. That doesn't seem that great. I think it's not the right time to use uh, to use rapid clearance. Just go for the kill. Or for the shot. Well, you got that... You got the lamppost real good. That's some good lamppost shooting there, Cypher. That, that, that thing didn't stand a freaking chance. Yeah, get with the rest of the team. Armadilla. Okay, this is actually a perfect position right here. Because if we get next turn, we can just have someone grab this, put it in the thing, we're done. We're good. You didn't need that head. Alright. Like, right. Oh, I can't move there, huh? Okay. Right there. Cool. All right, who's left? Nothing. Okay. Uh, perish. Grab things. Five will points for grabbing things. There's two of them and some crossbow quiver. Nice. Operative on the move. Very cool. Very cool. All right. Next up. Cypher. See what's in here. Oh, dear. Uh, we'll grab the packs first. What is this? Oh, a uh, spider drone pack. Quiver. 
Shotgun. We'll take the shotguns first. Those are the ones we're going to be that are going to be most useful immediately. Okay, and then get over here. Like that. And the cipher get in. Uh, excuse you. Ah, oh, crap. There's a mind fragger somewhere. He's way the hell up there. He's not a problem yet. Plus, you can't mind frag an army anymore. Okay. Jacob, uh, we need to get upstairs. Thankfully, there is a ladder, apparently, that we are aware of. Okay, Cabello, get up here. Pull out your shield. And just set it up right here for now. Cool. Watch out, I'm moving in. Okay. And with that, Jacob, you get upstairs, you're gonna start getting the stuff. Okay. Start getting stuff next turn. Armadilla. This seems like a waste of ammo. I really gotta hit quit hitting the space bar. <laughs> I really gotta quit hitting the space bar. Well, that was a whoopsie. Okay, Jacob. I'm on the move. What do we got? Two more. All right. What is this? Oh, a Cyclops SR7, huh? Cool. VDM Defender Mag. Hmm. Chimera Grenade. Sanitrion Poison Grenade. Neat. Okay, lots of stuff in there. We need to get this stuff uh, back into our armadillo. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have the armadillo move over here. That mine fragger can go frag itself for now. Okay. Rolling out. Get in. Nice jump. Cool. Okay, drop off. Yeah, drop off. Oh, I could just double click it. That makes it a lot easier. Uh, who else? Parachute stuff still, right? No, no, you just have your regular stuff. Okay, good. That means you can get out. And then grab stuff. Let's make this happen. You don't have enough points, do you? Dang it. All right, well, you're not in the way of the ladder, so this is fine. Um, maybe move right here for now. Okay. Uh, Camillo. Oh, you gotta put away your shield before you do anything. That's right. You just stay here. I can make a difference. Okay. And then, Sophia, do you have anything? Yeah, you do. We gotta put this stuff down. Yeah, we'll let you keep the extra. Okay. Get out. Let's go check out this one. What do you got for me? Really? Alright. I mean, I'll take it. Alright, Vasilla. What is this floating ass piece of wall here? Let's go. Okay. Enter. Oh, no! We are way too close together for this. Why would you shoot at it like that? From way over there. Okay. Bugs. Oh, God. So many of them got upstairs, too. Okay. Sipe, so pick this up. Okay, this is actually our chance. Use rapid clearance. You get two AP back for every enemy killed. So, kill some enemies. Uh, out of ammo. Oh, we got, well, we got a free reload. Use it. 
Go for him. Oh, damn it. Kill him. Here we go. That's... Yeah, get the AP back and then get in the armadillo. 10 out of 10. We're in. Okay, Ferris, you're next. I'm here. Grab stuff. Get in. Cool. There's a few other things to grab. Uh, Ferris, you actually have... There you go. Okay, cool. Basilla, can you get up there and grab stuff this turn? You can. Okay. Cool. But of course, now you're out of points, so we're going to have you hold back. So there's two boxes left. And there's actually two crates left, so that makes sense. Okay. Don't you have free pistol overwatch? I mean, if I switch over to the pistol, yeah. I don't know how much that's going to help here. Alright. Oh, did we leave items in this one? Um, Martinez, are you alright? That was a interesting walk you had there. I did, okay. Thankfully, there's just enough room for all of these. Next turn, when we can actually put them in. Yeah, he's just allowed to launch them things every turn, huh? I mean, it's less annoying when everyone's in the armadillo. Nice. I want to shotgun the thing. Even though it's probably not a good idea. <laughs> I still want to do it. Oof. I didn't do much. Uh, Priscilla. Wait, there's no more in that one. They're both empty, aren't they? Because I'm seeing the thing like as if there's still more stuff in them. You got them both. Okay. Okay. Team's ready. Let's move up. It's a beefy boy. That's alright. We got our own beefy boy. Nah, don't waste it. Just keep moving up. Remember, we don't really have to focus on killing everything. Since, uh... Since we're supposed to just grab all the stuff and leave. Yeah, if we say all the range of the poison worms are really not that big of a problem. Yeah, you best start running. I love the shot back. Uh, it's great. Now there's a root champion over here now. You're a bigger problem. Potentially. Well, I don't think you're actually that big of a problem now. Wow, you got a lot of health on you, buddy. Holy crap. Well, you did. <laughs> Once upon a time. Okay. So now is where I want to play, like, uh, strategy here. And I think the strategy starts with... With moving the armadillo up like this. Actually, just a little bit more. Right there. And then Cypher gets out. Rapid clearance. Okay. And then just start shooting them. Remember, for every one we kill, she gets her points back. She did not kill that one. 
Alright, I'm done. Go home, you're fired. That was embarrassing. You're all embarrassing all of a sudden. Every single one of you. You didn't even take a chance to aim. You just shot before aiming. Okay, I think you actually killed one. Thank you. Receiving loud and clear. Okay. I just want to get rid of some of these little bastards. That's so much to ask. I mean, it would help if I could see them. But instead, the game is convinced that I want to see the armadillos arm my ass this entire time. Okay, move up to here. Just ran over a nice sofa. Uh, I mean, I could go after the abdomen, but just go after... The head's already been disabled. Uh, oh wait, you can't do anything, but you can reload, right? Yeah, you got a free reload. Okay, make sure you're loaded up. Okay, we should be able to still walk away with everything. It's just, I, I don't know if I want to chase this guy down at this point. He just seems like he's going to be very annoying. hate the ghouls. Okay. Let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead and dash. Let's just grab the rest of the stuff. Okay. What is this? Uh, Nurgle's Wrath magazine? We don't need it. It's not a high priority item. Oh yeah, yeah, and the ways out are on the opposite side of the map too. Frick. This is the armadillo is full, so I think at this point, what we should do is just get Camillo to leave, and then everyone else concentrates on getting the last break. I think we can sneak Camillo around. Okay. Mm, that's not too bad. As long as you keep going after the armadillo, I think we're going to be in a good spot. Wow, one of them actually landed on us. Okay. How many will points do you have? You're full of will points right now. Go ahead and start dashing. Hi. Uh, dash again. That's the most amount of dashes we're allowed to do. So just start running regularly now. Let's go for that willpower spot, too. Yeah, yeah, I know. There's a lot of bugs. You really should be able to switch the bugs with the armadillo. I'm just saying. Okay. Uh, Vasilla, get out. One crate. Frick. <laughs> Almost feels like this isn't worth it. My turn. Okay, Parrish, get out. Boom blast. Using. This is probably the biggest group. There's like three of them right here.
All right. Cool. We're just going to leave now. All right. We're going to obviously our... Well, wait, wait, wait. No, we can use... We can use more ammo and stuff. We got more shots left. Go ahead and uh, rapid clearance for us. You're now down to one willpower. Which doesn't matter if we land every single shot. Okay. No pressure, though. Well done. That was sarcasm. All right, what the hell's wrong with you guys? What the hell kind of weird shit did you guys do before getting into the getting into the flyer today? Yeah, okay, well that one exploded. I mean, I don't think you could poison the armadillo. That could be wrong though. It doesn't look poison. Oh, are they just expiring? Do they, like, expire after a certain amount of turns? Hi there. I'm sorry, are you coming toward me? Alright. Go ahead and give me another dash over here. And then dash under the will point spot. It's three will points. I paid for one dash, which I guess is better than nothing. And they get right here behind the double cover. And we're good. Okay, we're going to be fine. Let's go. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. We got all the boxes. Which is what matters. We missed, like, what? One or two things of ammo for guns we don't even use? Who cares? No biggie. Oh, that's that was the big guy. Yeah. Is he retreating as well? What is going on? Oh, God! Was that guy right behind you the whole time? <laughs> okay. Hey, um... There we go. Out of here. Alright, mission complete. Camille up level 5. Nice. You got some resources. Hard to complain. It's called progress, right? How much should we actually get, though? 700 mats? Hell yeah. Damn, I thought that was like a weak mission. No, 700 mats is a big deal. Yeah, I mean, build everybody's everything. Yes, give me more magazines. Except for this one, which I can't reverse engineer yet. But maybe we can now. Uh, Chimera grenades. Uh, the poison grenades. Reverse engineer sticks body armor? Acolyte body armor? Yeah, I don't have the stuff for it, though. We need to get some of these armors to reverse engineer them. Okay. Missing way too much. Uh, hey, let's put some more stuff on the docket, though. Siren Autopsy. Hatching Sentinel. Just get them on the docket for now. Okay, people are tired. We can fix that. Send them home for now. To one of our homes. 
The disciples of Kanu Hayla is under attack. Oh shit. Uh are they gonna win? No, they are losing. Uh frick. Heal up, heal up, quick, quick, quick. Okay. We also got a level up to give away. Camillo. Ready for action. Reloading and inventory actions do not cost action points. Quarterback, grenade range, and speed. Gain sniper rifle proficiency. That doesn't seem that great for what you are and what you do. You be ready for action. And give you strength. Okay. So the gift's ready. Manti is just about ready. You're ready enough. Armadillo has nearly full health. Help these be help these lads out. The disciples of Kanu Haven is under attack. Another one? Oh, there it is. Wow, okay, that one's doing even worse. Whoa. This one is threat level medium, seven enemies, three defenders. Holy jeez. They're being overrun. You're missing one health point. Let's bring Tanky this time. Yeah. Mutation does count as an augment. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, let's... Yeah, let's take the gunners this time. Camilla, you can, you can sit back. You managed to destroy the floor below an enemy. There's a high ground. They'll fall. It'll hurt. And everyone will be sad. Not really. We'll laugh our asses off. But, you know... All right, let's help Samanu. In two places, apparently. Okay, the eagles have landed. Kill all enemies. Six out of six civilians are alive. It's quiet. Too quiet. Especially for a place that claims there's like seven enemies here. Uh, let's see. Jacob, why don't you start doing some scouting? Target located. Aha! There's our first one. Okay. He's a tyrant. Don't attack him yet. So he does have a gun. He also has a spitter head. And a shield. This time pass we're on a we're, when we're on a mission. I don't think it does. All right, Dorfman. Got a chance here. Aim right here. Either you hit the carpus or the head. Very cool. Very cool. Okay. Ready, Abzilla, you're next. Do the same the thing. Trigger. Right here. Cool. One down. Get over here. I might put you upstairs here in the next turn. All right, Cypher, your turn to do some scouting. Head this way. And there we go. Dude is upstairs. A brute champ. I feel like this is a good opportunity for Parrish to make something happen. I know how to do this. Yeah. You just give him a little bit of a trip. <laughs> Love it. All right. I'm on the move. Good stuff. Of course, that means we can't hit it this turn again, but that's okay. Hmm. Nothing over here. If we overwatch here, then if there's someone over this way trying to come toward the civilian, we could do something about it. I like that idea. All right, Tanky. You got four. You got to remember, you get four shots. Four volleys, I should say. 69 damage. Oh, it was? And I missed it? Nice. Okay, Jacob. Come around this corner. Give me an overwatch down this way. Nothing's getting past me. 
Okay, we've already taken down uh, a couple of them. Hey, there's a Zerker. Nice. A priest. Okay. They got a couple. I see them coming. Oh, God. There's a lot of mist over there. Two enemies right next to each other? So there's three over this way. Oh, there's one right there, too. Oh, yeah. Watch out, priest. Nah, actually, you're fine. All right, Alpha going straight after Tanky. Tanky's not afraid. Now Tanky's afraid. They disabled the turret. God damn it. Well, it could still be used as a tank. But still, god damn it. Basilla, what in the fuck makes you think this is a hit you could make? A reason not to use the free pistol overwatch because after you use all your moves it automatically switches you away and i don't think to click on the person again and go back to the pistol overwatch because that seems like a whole bunch of extra work holy crap that was a kill uh nice okay but yeah we can we can switch back area covered mm. You come over here, Cypher. Okay, that's a civilian who has been poisoned. Sorry, lad. Hey. Hey. Let me take control of you and then get out. Uh, actually, I could have you go and grab some other civilians and then all of you can leave. No, oh, you can't grab other civilians with civilians? I, it looked like you could at first. Last time I played. Maybe that was just something I missed that made it look like that. Can you use a med kit on a civilian or is that a waste? It feels like a waste. I'm pretty sure you could. Okay, come over here. Tanky. You, you're still useful, Tanky. See? Oh, you're a bez Yeah, that's right. You're a berserker. Okay. On my way. Oh, shit. I didn't know you were on Overwatch. That's all right. You just gave the table some business. We're fine. Okay, hold up right here. You hold up over here. Okay, perish. We're gonna need your booms. Do we get a boom right there in between them? Uh, the AOE is enough. Just barely. We just need to get in the position for it. Somewhere where we can actually get it there. <sighs> I hate that the jet jump takes three. Head up this way. See what yes. we got. Okay, yeah, we're gonna have to get to the other side of that tree. Trees are gonna need to use another point. Uh, here? Wait, how did that leave us the Oh, come on. I hate the way it calculates that sometimes. Jesus. Well, we'll go with a quick game with the shoddy. At this point, it's better than running up here and doing nothing. You got a shot? Oh yeah, that's right. There's this shield bearer right here. Uh, hey, I'll priest. Right Join up. What do you got? Shoddy? Right here. Right there. That's not a shoddy. That did nothing? Are you sure I didn't hit the shield? What was that? I recorded some ideology. I have not gotten the chance to yet. I do plan to, though. I'm planning on doing that today. Ready to engage. 
Wow, this guy is not taking any freaking damage. From, like, anything. What? Here I am, let's do this! Go ahead and take out the pincer. There we go. Very least, I'll make it harder for him to hit. They want to start ideology, just waiting for new mods. I, I'm planning on going unmodded to start with. So it would be weird jumping into vanilla Rimworld again. But, wouldn't be the first time. Alright, these guys are hitting uh, tanky really hard. Yeah, now all you can do is run. That's right. You little coward. Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, the grenade move. That's fine. What the hell was that? Yeah, he has a grenade launcher arm. Okay. Cool. Get over here. Bash him. Okay. Oh, damn it. There was an actual move called Strike. Son of a bitch. Why is that a separate... Oh, whatever. Video game logic will never cease to amaze me. I thought there was an extraction boy here for the civilians. Apparently not. All right, that's fair. Okay, this guy's still supposed to go. We're not really going to get a hit there, though. Okay, perish. Let's get you... I want to get rid of that guy over here. Sells enough to use this. So use biggest booms. Move over here. Here goes nothing. I was about to say, how can you not get that? There we go. Very cool. Head over here. We'll get someone else to come up the middle. The civilian can't do anything. Stop telling me to move the civilian. Okay. So well, let's get you over here. That civilian's gonna die from the poison at this rate. I'd really rather him not, but you know. Pushing on. Dash over here. How many will points you got left? Eleven? Oh yeah. Dash again. Ready to fire. <laughs> Very cool. Very cool. Uh, Eileen, I think you need to head over here as well. Watch out, I'm moving in. All right, this should work. Why don't you attack? Like you could have totally killed this guy. What the hell? Yeah, this guy's dead next turn if we don't uh, get something. So this guy ran away. He's out. Which sucks, but... You know. It is what it is. Okay. Then dash on behind him.
<laughs> well, at least the torso doesn't have a bunch of armor on it. Ow! Wait, what? Did you seriously kill him with that? What the fuck? Jesus, man. When did the... When did the... Fucking crabs get this far upgraded? What the fuck? Also, I'm still kind of mad about the strike thing. Being, like, completely separate from Dash. I mean, you're dead. Yeah, like I said, you're dead. Alright. Cool. Haven't had to reload the game yet, so there's a first time for everything. No, the, the... I feel like there's not a good separation between when the game starts escalating. There's, like, not a good... There's not a good indication of it. I'm not doing that. Fuck you. Uh... I mean, obviously, I, I I guess you can assume that it's slowly escalating all the time, but that guy, I think there were at least two of them, a lot stronger than the other ones. All right, look. You son of a bitch. Uh... Why can I not read this? Um... Why am I not able to read this, like, correctly? What is What in the world am I looking at? This is a quick save. Okay. So it saved me after the fight. And it only does one autosave? Yeah, and apparently it only does one autosave. Alright, I'm starting to see why this game is not overtaking XCOM. It, it's missing a lot of quality of life features that I don't know why they aren't there. Uh, let's see. Romano. What is this one? This is an infiltrator, I think? This icon here? I genuinely do not remember. to think about that. Oh, hey, we found the lair, though. So that's nice. Okay. Uh, you know what? Let's... Let's hold up for a minute, though. Got a new recruit here. There's a lot of new recruits available. Let's head back to base, though, for a minute. We gotta heal up. Shield bearer champion. I guess I, I kind of wish you put this on this screen here. I feel like you could fit at least the important stuff right here. But oh well. How does the armor work in this game? I don't think I've figured that out yet. This is like a direct, um, well, it has hit points to it. So is it just like a layer of HP over the regular HP? Or does it reduce damage? I wonder if that's in here anywhere armor. Well, that's not helpful. Uh, lore guide. Standard damage. I actually really want to know now how armor works in this game. Better late than never, yeah? Oh my god. <laughs>
Hey, Don. Well, I don't know how armor works and how it suddenly made some enemies invincible. And that's actually... How is that not, like, in character attributes? Core attributes, strength, speed, willpower, perception, accuracy, stealth, standard damage. How is it not a section for armor? I gotta be missing it, right? Pierce value. Pierce value will ignore armor up to its piercing value before applying standard damage. So that makes sense. Okay. A gun with 50 against an armor of 30 would normally do 20 damage. Okay, now... Why is the explanation for how armor works under pierce value? <laughs> Why isn't there a section for armor that explains all this? It could be in one spot. And they got shred damage, like, divided into it. Like... Shred damage, I mean, I get that inherently. It basically works the same way that uh, it works in XCOM there, but... <laughs> that, that part makes sense. Yeah, it's annoying QO, QOL stuff. Yeah, well, that's what I was saying just a minute ago. This game has a lot of missing QOL things, quality of life things. That would do a lot for it. Uh, let's see. So we need a new recruit now. I'm trying to think. What do we want? I mean, if we were on better terms with New Jericho, we could find we could get a uh, you could look at getting one of theirs, but that's not happening. A technician, that's what it's called. There's a regular soldier here, but... No thanks. I mean, I guess I could just recruit regular soldiers as well. Eh. Set over here. Mancy's one is missing one. Oh yeah, I forgot about the other Haven. Whoops. Oh well. Sorry you couldn't defend yourselves. Benjamin Adam. Alright, recruit him. And he went right here, too. A priest. Screamer priestly head mutation. What the hell? So, minus, ac minus stealth, not accuracy. Scream, reducing the will points of all enemy units in an 8-tile radius. How mu By how much, though? That's kind of important. But that's still pretty cool. And then their body armor, of course. And a redeemer. A virus rifle. 10 piercing, 5 virus per hit. Well, per that's probably not per hit. That might be per hit. Is that per hit? Because it's a burst of three. So that makes it sound like it's five virus per hit. So if we're a total of 15 on, you know, 100% accuracy. That said, I don't think we have the stuff needed to reverse engineer this either. It'd be easier if we found out from here. Chimera Grenade, Hera. Yeah, we don't. Not being told enough. We do have a couple of these from stores, though. I guess that's better than nothing. Uh, here, actually, give me a med kit, too. I haven't been giving enough of these out. Okay. I'm not going to augment everyone yet. Hey, Ami. Welcome to this. Oh, shoot. Don't... <laughs> don't get the game going yet. Uh, is everyone healed up? Everyone except Tanky sealed up. Alright. 
All right, what do we got? What do we got? Question marks. Let's go do this mission now and try to get it over with. Oh, there's the redeemer. Okay, now we can make now we can make the stuff for it. All right, cool. Ghastly dispatch. We see a worrisome report from our intelligence operatives. It appears a splinter group of Anu are worshipping a grotesque Pandoran mutation. Our spy informs us of gruesome, inhumane rituals. Normally, we don't take a stand against the excesses of the fringe Anu cults. But in this case, an armed response is warranted. Hmm. Cult's base is located in a remote area. The sooner we get there, the better. How the hell do you expect me to get here? Like, they, they, they give me a mission on the opposite side of the goddamn planet and then say, go there. And there's, like, no, no straightforward path there. Like, I still can't get to the Americas, and I went all the way to the east of Asia that I could. <laughs> it's like, what the hell? Seeking the Firebird. Okay. Our operatives have been tasked with investigating what happened to the individual who recovered the Firebird Initiative files... Unfortunately, the settlement where this individual lived appears to have been destroyed some time ago. With some luck, we may be able to retrieve a journal or a notebook that could shed further light on this mystery. Hey, I gotta wait for you both to get there. Duh. But I mean, this is as far... This is as close as I can get to the Americas. And the... The plane can't get from here to here. So it's like, how how do I get to the Americas? Do I have to bounce here? Would that work? Do I have to make it to Greenland first? What path are you trying to get me to go on? Alright. Okay, now we got both teams here. Armadillo, uh, per Parish, what, what's wrong with your ammo? What's our ammo situation here? You got, you got ammo. I don't understand the problem. Oh, this is not full? Fill it up. <laughs> that was your problem? You were missing two grenades? You're fine, dude. You got your grenades. We're gonna be okay. We're gonna take Benjamin Adam. You know, we might as well, um... You know what, let's take... Let's take Carmillo as well. Okay. Snapshot has admitted there are some things they need to fix about it. Part of it is meant to nudge players... Nudge players are expanding their bases and exploration faster. I mean... The, the places aren't static, right? Like... The spots, they, they they randomly, they're like randomly generated, are they? I really don't know that. Like when you start the game, is the world generated with all of the bases and everything? Correct. So, so there is a, so it, it's one of the things they need to fix. The fact that maybe sometimes it doesn't correctly give you the ability to hop continents. I hope that's not it. I, I'm hoping that was something that was patched like way early... EGS, Epic Game Store. I wouldn't be surprised if it happened at one point at that time. Okay. Initiative files. I mean, I'm not finding anything here yet. Usually you could tell where they are. Where is everything? So quiet here. Got a poacher. Not too worried about the paralyzing arms, at least the armadillo isn't worried. Okay. 
a blue champion. I feel like this screen needs more info. Like, they have armor, obviously. 20 out of 20, 30, you know, all that good stuff. Let me take a shot real quick. We got, uh... You know, 40 damage times 8, 5 shred times 8. I'm trying to think what info would be helpful on that screen, though. Wait, why is it coming off of both ends like this? That's just a nitpick. Alright. So, Benjamin, you're new. Psychic Scream has quite a bit of range to it. Holy crap. M mind control. In control of an enemy with willpower costs equal to the enemy's current willpowers. Okay. Costs 1 to 10 willpower per turn, depending on the target type. What the heck? Induce panic. Cause a target to panic if its will points are less than the priest. Okay, we have a lot of cool abilities here. All right. That's pretty neat. I'm just going to put you in the car for now, though. You go in the hole. I'll be right there. Okay, hold up, hold up. Here I am, let's do this. Let's, uh, be a little bit careful for now. Let's make this happen. Okay. This is a stilted ass movement, man. What are you doing? Oh, hi, Siren. I didn't even see you there. Okay. How you doing, tentacle boy? Oh! Hi! Holy crap, one of us actually had enough armor. <laughs> nice! Granted, I think you're using the, like, the neural gun, which is not that strong. There are a lot of freaking enemies here. What the hell? Couple more. There was a big delay. Excuse you? Seven points of paralysis. That sucks. It's okay, though. A 23 max. <laughs> of course, he goes chameleon afterwards. Okay, Overwatch. God, there's a whole bunch of them. Ugh. Just wasting ammo at this point. Oh, hey, perish! Whoa, whoa, whoa! There's a bunch of them like real close together. Can we get a grenade there? This is going to make all the difference. Possibly. I know the accuracy is going to be ass. But if we move closer, it'll be less ass. Hopefully, that's the plan at least. Okay, right here. Go for the triple. Come on! Here! Okay, we got a double. We got a double. We got a lot of bleeding out of that. That's still pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, wait, you had some points left over. You had, like... Here's a little bar. You can't move with that... L That's more than zero bar. I'm insulted. Uh... I really don't know what I want Camillo to do, though. That's the tough one. Okay, so uh, let's get some quick shots. Go for two sniper shots if we can. Uh, 
<laughs> it's not as good as you think it is, game. You know what? Take off that shield if we can. Cool. Okay, another quick shot. Actually, you know what? Get the free pistol shot. Took one down. Firing target. Okay. That <laughs> yeah, shoot at that gun that you can barely see. No, that's good. No, that's a good strat. Might as well. Might as well go for a couple. This thing has a good amount of ammo, after all. I'm on Overwatch. Okay, Dorkman, I want you to go next. I was gonna say, I know you have a shot in you, Dorkman. Why does this game do that? <laughs> just why? Out. It just seems bad. <laughs> It just I love watching his head come out from behind the thing. That's glorious. Oh my god, the extend head. That was amazing. Oh, the head extension was great. Ta da then. Woo! Very enjoyable. Uh Alright, this is for Benjamin. Yeah, don't, don't need you to move Benjamin. Got that long neck. Yup. Yeah, disable that head so that you can't, like, mind control us or anything. There you go. Now all she's got are those claws. Cool. <sighs> Wish we had some... I wish we had a spot to defend over here. I could have you pop out, take a shot, pop back in. It's corny, but it works sometimes. And this time it did not. Bye! Wait, what if I have you dash in, shoot, and then dash out? How did I not kill you? How am I out of points? Did I use more than one point? To Wait, no, I could only use one point because dash takes one point. The paralysis? Ay, ay, ay. Holy shit, that shoot back. Ouch. Man, Vasilla is, uh, getting really lucky behind that barrier. Man, it's so squishy. He makes such squishy sounds as he moves around. That That's a good clip. Yeah, just suppressing. Mm -hmm. yep. Excuse you? <laughs> no, fuck you! <laughs> Language, mister! Ready to fire. Alright. Uh, are we gonna need two shots here? Hopefully not. Hey, 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 poke your head up too. Alright, these, these aliens just do not know... How to suppress their language. Wiring target. Oh, perfection. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. That was a kill. Alright. Well, we're getting the kills. Which is nice. Uh, go ahead and reload. Okay. Then maybe, uh... Hold off for a bit, minute, and maybe work on that paralysis. How 
dare you hide under the stairs? Okay, now we just have to find those files, hopefully. As has been said. I mean, are these the files? No, it looks like a gun. <laughs> Maybe Parrish could make it himself. I mean, Parrish is fine. Did you mean, uh, Camillo? Because as of right now, Parrish is fine. Oh, there it is. There it is, right there. Okay. Uh, Parrish. Yes. Fetch. All right, I think we're going to be fine, though. Activate objective, yes. We did it! A little bit of injuries, nothing permanent. A fast way to progress your research is to steal it from other factions with a steel research mission and a haven with a research center. You don't say. How unexpected. The journal seems to suggest that the research was recovered by... the Phoenix Project. I assume that you are unaware of this. Presumably due to the near collapse your organization suffered after the severe cutbacks of the early 21st century. Apparently, the surviving research was stored at a Phoenix base designated Storage Facility 4. Not a terribly inventive naming scheme. Oh, I'm sorry. We didn't call it, like, you know, Ultra Anarcho Syndico Special Beso. To complicate matters, before the collapse, the local government sold Storage Facility 4 to Abaddon Tusk. One of the billionaires that resulted from the old political system's malfunctioning distribution of resources, who turned it into a shelter for his company. Eccentric and possibly sociopathic to begin with, he has been driven to new extremes, styling himself Pirate King and leading violent raids on defenseless havens. The oldest would be king? I calculate a 98% chance of armed conflict resolution. No shit. Uh,. Okay, tech, mats, food, good. Also, as been noted, 69% uh, humanity left. Nice. Okay. Let's heal up, and then where is that mission? Okay. At least that's reachable. That's nice. Guess we could activate this base over here. 420, 70. Quite affordable. This is a Phoenix base. Called Phoenix Fox Trot. Gonna get the repairs going. Oh, don't demolish. Repair. And then make sure we have a uh, living quarters here too. Okay. Wish you could tell them where to go and then unpause the this game. So you could truly have them travel together. That's not even like a quality of life thing. That's just like something I would personally like to see. Because I think it, the way it works is just fine. Siren Autopsy. Named after its bone chilling screech, which has psy psy psychic as well as sonic components. Uh, leadership, abduction, close combat. Weakness, very limited ranged ability. Uh, we have to finish this mission before we hit 50% with them, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Often spawns missions based on faction types. Ready all defenses. Uh, Phoenix Avionics. Threat level high, enemy Pandoran. Base under attack by them. And if you hit the cancel button, it doesn't even let you look at the map. That's not good. <laughs> That's not... 
I'm, I'm gonna reload to see if it like maybe just takes me back to the into the last mission, but that's not good. That's that's really bad. At least a pop up or saying if you hit ca if you cancel, you ought, you forfeit the mission would be nice and sensible. Something. Anyway, this is avionics, right? Yeah, this is the one that they said was under attack. So who do we have here? Oh my god, there's so many people with level ups. <laughs> Uh, okay. Well, Rodriguez, I'll give you a dash. We'll give you a return fire, because I think everyone should have return fire. Return fire is, like, really good. Let's get another recruit here, too. Milus. Resourceful. Healer. Close quarters. Neat. Be like a combat medic. Incoming attack. Ten hours. Was I supposed to get a pop-up for this? Like, or something on the map? Okay, so it's here. When did this show up? When did this appear? It must have appeared before this mission, right? It didn't have, like, a sound or, like, a pop-up or anything? Just... It, it just showed up? Please tell me there was more than just this appearing, like, two in-game days ago. It would have popped up with a message. I hope so. I, 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 I would rather believe that I'm stupid enough to have seen the message and dismissed it. I would rather that be the case than it just showed up up there and there was no, like, pop-up. So if, if that's what happened, I, I would rather that be the case. <laughs> But it, that that kind of thing should be something that the game like like points out. We're not going to make it in time, which means we need more recruits there. Um, wait. Actually, no. I think I already got another recruit there. Okay. So you need equipment, obviously. You're a sniper. Okay, that means you're already good with handguns, which is nice. Very lucky on our part. And of course, we got no armor for you. Potentially overlookable due to how dense stuff is. That's a kind of a major problem. Uh, thief. Bonus stealth and one speed. Interesting. Assault rifle proficiency. Heavy weapons proficiency, extra accuracy and strength, but minus perception. I don't care about that. Uh, I... Let's see. Yeah, you're already, like, as augmented as we can get you. Stomper legs? From a shock attack. And the armored head, of course. Immune to daze effects. Okay. Kind of tempted to give this for the speed. Oh, that's a lot for one speed. It does give you a lot of stealth, I guess. But this is already destroying their stealth. Like, this dude's stealth is wrecked already, built in. So I feel like that's not worth getting. Better just put points into speed. I'm going to put it in the willpower instead. Okay. And you have a shield. Should you have the shield? I don't think you should have the shield. I'm gonna give you a med kit instead. Put this over here. Maybe give you one more of these. Uh, copy some more ammo. Just to have it down here. Okay. You need more than just this. You're gonna have the shield. And that way you have something else you could be using. Let's see. Give him a shotgun. I mean, I don't have... Unfortunately, I don't have a shotgun to give him. But I could give you this little guy. It's kind of like a shotgun. <laughs> in a way. I need more people carrying medkits. 
feel like not enough people carry them. Okay. Like I said, we're, I don't think our team's gonna make it. No. Oh well. We'll see how it goes. To be fair, I haven't done this kind of mission yet. So it's something new as well. Eliminate all invaders as quickly as possible by preventing them from destroying stuff. Yeah, duh. Mounted weapons are attached to the armor of the soldier do not require hands to use. They are considered an additional ready item. Why are you telling me this? I'm concerned with the fact that you're telling me this. Because I don't have any of those. Hey, look, the med bay. See, this is neat. What is this, the living quarters? What is this area? I don't think it's living quarters. Maybe it is. Oh yeah, those look like beds. So this is the living quarters. Okay. Energy, I'm guessing, is what this is over here. This is the scan. This is neat. Oh, for a second there, I thought this was like a half-destroyed building. I'm looking at the action points. Okay. I like the shield on the back. Looks very nice. Next attack deals additional shred damage. Okay. Oh, there's like way more base than I thought there was. Okay. Huh. Some flammable gas over there. Let's see, you have the regular stuff. Scourge Alpha. Gun and grenade launcher, yeah. Pincer shield. Huh. Oh hi My Milas, you are not in a good spot. Uh that's why why is he here? Let's go. <laughs> Target located. Yeah, no shit. Why did they put Milas in the worst possible spot? Holy hell. Also, I can't see what's at the top of this ladder. Which is too bad. Eyes peeled. Hmm. Oh my god, their armor. Everything is zero damage. All right, you need to head up. And you need to head back. Okay. All right, here comes the shield bearer. He just has melee, so we could kite him to some degree. It's really the ones with the guns I need to worry about. Yeah, like them. You might need to retreat. How? The retreat area is behind them. Unless there's another one I didn't... Oh, wait. No, no. There's the elevator in there. What? <laughs> All right. Jeez, um. Oh, hey, a mind fragger. There's an enemy we could kill. Hmm. What's the path for getting upstairs? Ladder here, ladder there. Okay. Gotcha. Oh, let's go then. Sprinting. Jeez. 
This is the blood pouring out his back. I'm on the move. Uh like the wind. <clears throat> I think this game has kind of like a terrible combination of getting more difficult than XCOM, which by itself is fine. And also more complex than XCOM, which by itself is fine. But also they give you less upfront information than XCOM. Like, I feel like the base attack should have been should have been something else, like a pop-up or something. Also, the fact that everything is real-time, like, amps the complexity of everything up. Almost real-time. Uh, and I'm by that, I mean on the world map. You know, everything moving around in real-time. There isn't really, like, uh, you go somewhere, you land, and then everything basically kind of stops. Unless you're researching or something. I feel like the, the flow of time is a lot different. And again, I don't think that's actually a problem by itself. In a vacuum, a lot of the changes are innocuous. Uh, you can't get up, huh? Well, that sucks. Uh, let's see. Let's, let's start with, can you get up? What? Uh, well, if I dash with you, you should be able to get up next turn. Yeah? Okay, or this turn, I should say. On the double. Yeah, yeah, this turn. Is there a ladder down here that'll get me up here, though? No, there's, like, one right here. Wait. Okay, yeah, that does go all the way through. Uh... Damn it, if you had a dash, that would be great. Oh, there's one right here, too. I didn't see that one. It was kind of in a tricky spot. Okay, it's just all of your blood. Wait, does that have the range to affect anyone? It did? What the hell? Jesus. That was like a sniper's range. Alright, well, that pretty much fucks everything up, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I love not being able to control my characters. Favorite part of any game. Well, at least you had a positive will check. <laughs> Alright, we'll, we'll get Vicente out of there at least. There he goes. Face fences are something that could be better. No, I, I think... Like I said, I think the, the, the pop-up for a base defense should be more obvious. And also, I know this is going to sound weird with the complaints that I'm making about how hard it is, but I feel like you should lose the base if you lose the defense. <laughs> Maybe they just don't do that because of, they know that it's really wonky and not great right now. But why are they just going to break some stuff and leave? That doesn't make sense. I'll try and get there. You can get there, Rodriguez. You're you're gonna get out. Unless one of these other guys decide they can snipe too. But uh But yeah, I mean they're just gonna break some stuff and leave? That's weird. Community feedback is that they should infest. That would make more sense. That would make more sense than just breaking some stuff and leaving.
All right, can I have my turn again, please? This might be the most XCOM the game has felt in a while. Me just waiting for the enemy to take their turn. <laughs> Thank you. All right, let's go. I said, let's go. I said, let's go. Damn it. The, uh, the part where they stop whenever they spot someone, I can't tell if I like that or not. No, that was the second death. I can't tell if I like that or not, though. I mean, it's obviously... Could be considered a good quality of life change, but... I don't know. Okay, so now they just left. And stuff has to be repaired. Oh boy, now I have to click a bunch of things. I love it. Uh, well, that means you guys can just go somewhere else. Wait, where was I trying to head to? Pirate King? We can actually move there right away, so maybe we go heal up and then we move there. If we're gonna do that, then what we repair is the med bay first. Well, I guess we'll have to repair the, uh, power, too. Yeah, those two. Oh, you need the, uh, okay. Is there a repair all button? No, there doesn't seem to be. Should be a repair all button that just adds together for you. Construction complete. Research complete. All right. Well, Hatching Sentinel. Damage to them is increased by 15%, and now we need to do new research. Uh, shotgun advan- when did I unlock this? <sighs> Last resistant technology, cool. I feel like the tech tree is also, like, not very well explained. Like, there's cool stuff available now. Where'd it come from? Why do I have this cool stuff available to research all of a sudden? Which research led to that? You know, just things, just information, man. I feel like it's not disseminated as well as it could be. Anyway. Chiron Fuji and Pandoran Viral Tech. It's another one of these, yep. Launch fireworms! Oh boy! Yeah, there it is. Viral tech. Pandorans have weaponized a mutation with instant effects for deployment on the battlefield. What? Some of it spawns off of tech you unlock from other factions. But I mean, that just makes it more obfuscating. I feel like too much of it is obvious, obfuscated. Wait, did I, does this place even have a vehicle? Oh yeah, it does, duh. Research complete. Slam strike shotgun. Well, let's do a comparison. That starts by building one. I mean, it has a neat name, I'll give it that. All right. Blast resistant technology is this next. Is blast res vest. Reduces effective blast damage by half. No armor or anything else, though? What? <laughs> I'm sorry, what? I. It's an add on bit. Okay, so you mean it goes over... Well, wait, no, that doesn't make... It goes in the mount section? R 
Okay. <laughs> oh. It's a wonky ass game sometimes, Phoenix Point. But alright. Okay. Slam Strike is done. Let's see it. Slam Strike. Compare. Uh that's that's a tier one. That you can you 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 can do better than this, that. <laughs> uh where the hell is it? It's not showing to me because I don't have the right filter, right? There's the Iconoclast. Did I not actually make it? Am I going crazy? All these fucking icons. Scroll up? You joking me. Why, why does it start me at the bottom of the scroll? What the fuck? All right. Well, it does a ton of more damage. Jesus. Had some shred. No burst. Much higher range. Way less shots. Which makes sense. 140 shock. All right. Grab it. It's starting to sound like I should just give everyone an upgraded weapon like that. Like, I should not be using the Phoenix handgun anymore, for example. Hmm. And this thing takes two action points to use, but it's still pretty nice. I feel like I need to make you another laser pistol. I don't know, though. I don't know. I just know that I need I need upgrades. Oh, wait. That's the one for the sniper. Duh. Um, yeah, let's take that. Yeah, we don't have stun pistols yet. I don't know if this is any good, but hopefully it will be. Yeah, I see 30 damage and one shredded. Just does the smallest amount to armor, and that's it. Hmm. The Iconoclast is pretty darn strong with 8 burst. Maybe we just need more shotguns, you know? Okay, I'm happy with Eileen's setup. Camillo, of course, has an Iconoclast. Although, I could... Well, now we can upgrade. Everyone who has a shotgun can eventually be upgraded to the Slam Strike. So we'll see. How much SP do we have? <laughs> 34, quite a bit. Let's see. Marked for death, reckless. See, I don't like any of those that much. <laughs> Let's give you more willpower. And a little bit more speed. Holy crap! So those over here with 102 SP. Mounted weapon proficiency. Hmm. We'll give you the two speed. Yeah. There we go. Some real stats over here. Should probably be spending these a little bit more. Eileen only has 28. Hmm. Okay. I 
Yeah, let's let's do a little bit of exploring for a minute. Nah, actually, you stay back here. Okay, this team is mostly healed up anyway. They're ready. Another scavenging site. Okay. Hold up. I didn't think we'd have another one this quickly. Just keep exploring for now. Alright, what you got for me? Another scavenging site. In a mist zone. Doesn't surprise me that they're more dangerous there. Alright, keep exploring. Think they want you to scavenge? Yeah, probably. Neuralizer. Phoenix paralyzing melee weapon. 10 damage, 40 piercing, and paralysis. Effective range of 1. Oi. In order to capture a Pandoran, you need to equip a Neuralizer. Or Neurite. Neurazer. A Neurazer. 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 Ask your doctor if Neurazer is right for you. Uh, move next to it and melee attack it until it's paralyzed. When the paralysis value is higher than the strength, they are paralyzed and will be captured at the end of the mission. Targets will lose one paralysis point per turn, so do not let them recover if possible. Uh, disabling enemy body parts decreases the enemy's overall strength, making it easier to capture. Hmm. You need to build a containment facility to do that. That makes sense. Okay. And now if we capture them, we can gain more damage on them. Okay. Uh, hey, I could re... I can reverse engineer the... Neural pistols. Could be worth it. Starting to run out of research a bit, though. Uh, capture Pandoran with a psychic ability. Okay. Gotcha. Let's go ahead and do this, just so we have something on the docket. Let's see if this is another scavenge site. Oh, it's not! Death is a highway. Our operatives have set down beside a ruined highway. There's hundreds of burned out cars and trucks lying all over the place. Nature is busy reclaiming the concrete and tarmac. It looks like the people were trying to live here for a while. Uh, we should look around. There might be some stuff left over. Yeah. 500 mats! Some stuff, huh? That was more than some. You guys are almost healed. Cool. Uh, Manti, let's get you guys back over here for like two seconds, and then you can be healed up, and we'll get over to this scavenging site. There. Cool. Wait. Cool. Okay. Uh... Sorry, Jacob. I think... Camillo. No, actually, let's not take Dorkman. Let's take um, Jacob instead. But I definitely want to bring Camillo. Camillo and the Dillo. We'll make it done. Medkits will restore your hit points, but will not repair any limb damage. Once you leave a mission, limbs are repaired, but the soldier is still injured. As you can see, this guy here is very happy about that. All right, another scavenging mission. Can't wait to not take a bunch of ammo again. Let's land. Let's see what's going on. All right, well, nobody's seen immediately. Eight resource packs. Four, five, six. Six crates, it looks like. Okay. Well, I mean, we got our first one right here. How did you literally not move and you spotted someone? You didn't even turn around. You were, like, already there. I just clicked and you got the spot. And you weren't there before. I know you weren't. Anyway. Oh my gosh. Uh, grab the med kits. Ooh, another iconoclast. Uh, cool. 
Okay, Camillo. Wait. There wasn't a mist producer here? Other than that guy, I guess? He can, he can produce mist, I think. Hmm. Usually there's one, like, right in our way immediately when these missions start. Which is weird. Here. All right, Parrish, you're here. Uh, you know what? If you boom blast, you get a little bit more range. Let's go, baby. Hey, you got him. He broke his yet, then disabled his arm and head and leg. Beautiful stuff, my dude. Alright. Jacob, why don't you come over here? It's gonna be a crumb of close range overwatch. It's not. You got a shotgun, you gotta remember that. Then, Vasilla, why don't you jump back here? Give me an overwatch from this side, just in case. Nothing's getting past me. Okay. Hello! How you doing? Sorry about the building. <laughs> Get in. Alright. Cool. Uh, Camillo, I think you have enough movement points to actually put this stuff back. Yeah. I guess you can keep one of the extra Iconoclast mags. Oh, wait. Yeah, Camillo can. But you don't need the Redeemer mag. Yeah. Cool. Alright. Not bad, not bad. I could have had the Armadillo move more. Alright, where are they going? I heard the mister. It's there somewhere. Oh, there it is. Right there. Boom, baby! Shotgun doing work. Sniper, not so much. Yep, doing another spy run. The hell was that? They got a sniper now. That's a little scary. Okay, um... So the mist thing is around this corner here. I'm wondering if we push can just limits. push the limit. Push it all the way to the limit. Acquiring target. Big blam. Okay. Now perish. Using. Finish them off. That would actually do it. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and take the quick aim. Quick aim costs us will points. So that way, if we do somehow miss, we can shoot again. Uh, actually, up here is, would be like uh, nah, less chance of actually hurting it from there. Wait, what? There we go. Right there. Very specific. Plus four will points from that. Suck it down. Okay. Now the question is, do we boom blast now? Kind of tempted. This might have been a waste of will points. But it might not be. I doubt we're going to hit both of them. But if we hit one of them, it'll be worth it. Oh, oh we got them both. Holy hell. That was awesome. Come get some. Should you get in the cover? Nah, you don't need cover. Nice shot. Somehow you got both of its legs with that one shot. I'm not even entirely sure how you did that. Uh, thankfully, you can overwatch for one with this pistol. Okay. 
All right, let's go get the second one. Whoops. There we go. Oh, uh, hey. Got... Ah, no! Eh, 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 eh. Okay. Get out. Couple of blues. Nice. Oop. And an incendiary. Sweet. Give me... And then get in. So far, this seems to be going all right. Okay, two down. Uh, you can take a shot. This doesn't seem to be worth much. So instead, let's just have you move up. Yeah, we're good. Oh, okay. I, I'm not surprised there's a second one. We just have to remember to take it out. Where are you going? Okay. We need to take it out soon because it's getting really close to being able to miss that other one. Ugh. I mean, you tried. You hit its gun. Oh, crap. That one's a sniper, isn't it? You okay, buddy? <laughs> He's uh, twitching a bit there. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna one shot one of my guys, aren't you? You just missed twice. What the fuck? Targeting. Like, how is this not like a one hit kill? Gotcha. What the hell are you made out of? Good stealth, buddy. <laughs> Primo stealth. They're made out of crab? Okay, then let's just get some hot water. Why don't we come in with an army of pots and just dump the hot water on them? They won't even know they're dying. Heading out. Moving now. Go ahead and get in, Jacob. Okay, perish. Hold up. Hmm. Here I am. Let's do this. Come over here. Go for the quick aim. Fucking hell. Heading out. I've seen level one XCOM people with better aim. Guy is bleeding a lot. I know how to do things. This is gonna hit the building, isn't it? At least that's my fault. No, it's not. The building's way shorter than I thought it was. Okay. Oh, the armadillo's out of movement points. I didn't realize till now. I just man. Shield guy's gonna take a little bit more to die out. Although he should die eventually. Okay. But yeah, I think he'll be dead after this turn. What the heck? Huh. 
Okay. Parish. I need you to keep boom blasting, dude. This one I want over here. Clear out some of that stuff for me. Not a kill. Was it damage though? Because that'd be nice. Okay, don't need to worry about that. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeet one way away over here. Why not? Look at our yotsman over here. <laughs> oh man, that was that was a yeet. Okay, over here. Stop pausing me. God damn it. I know what I'm doing. Nah, Cyclops ammo. Jesus. Wow. There we go. Stop. I know where I want my dudes to move. God no. damn it! Uh. Explosions do indeed clear the mist. Okay. That's a surprisingly good shot on that Hellion. Oh, hey, hello. Nice. Okay, one more of those and it's a goner. How do you not... Oh, did I have you move over? I think I did. You do have a decent amount of willpower. I could try to risk it, but I'm not gonna. Okay. In a turn. There's one more in the other corner that I still need to get to. Hello. How you doing, Hellion? That was a good that was a good end turn you got there. Sirens just aren't the same as Vipers. No, they're they are not. They are not. Um Okay, let's get to the Wait, I already opened this crate, didn't I? Or did I do this one and thought it was that one? Wait, what? I got three. Four. Someone else is... You're, you're, you're still holding one, right? Yeah. What? So yeah, I'm done with this side. I gotta, I gotta move up. Okay. Some of them just aren't refusing to say that they're... I don't know. Man. They're done. All right, Parrish, what's your move now? Uh, you got two more shots with this thing still. Although you are very low on willpower. Can you do this? Let's find out. It looked like it ticked them off. We can get some willpower points if we get upstairs here. So I think that might be our next move for you. Okay, and Vasilla, you don't really have a shot way over there. Moving to position. Minus forty. Yeah, minus forty army was armor was good. What'd that leave you with? Yeah, shredded some of it all the way down. Definitely good. You know what, Vasilla, let's actually have you head upstairs. Wait here for now. Okay, here comes some new ones.
Unfortunately, you didn't hit the head, which is the part that we need, you know, to avoid any mind control. Alright, that's, yeah, that was gonna say, that's a grenade. Thankfully, it wasn't that strong. Where the hell did the mind fragger come from? Uh, hey, Parrish, guess what? Another good op here for you. Angle does not work, though. But it does from here. I know, Parrish, I need you to do other things eventually, but damn it, they just keep lining up for our grenades. So we have to keep taking them. Minus 50 armor is freaking huge. I want to just head over there and grab those. Honestly. Hello? How you doing? Not very well, it looks like. Yeah, that Minefragger should die with the bleed. It was a pretty harsh one. Targeting. Get just a little bit closer. There we go. I'm not mad, you're mad. There goes the mind fragger. Do you not get will back and if an enemy dies with bleed? I feel like you don't, and I don't like it. <laughs> That's, that's, seems like a pretty malicious oversight. Um, I don't, I don't think it's an oversight, actually, but malicious, yes, I stand by that word. Ready to fire. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah, okay. Come over here, give me a better angle. Acquiring target. Right here. Well, you got the torso. I'll take it. They're in my way. Get out of my way, you wannabe viper. All right, Parrish. Now, finally, get the, get into the willpower zone. There you go. It's only three points, but, you know, it's three points. Alright, in turn. That's a lot of enemies. I also think the game kind of, like, glitched out or something for a minute, so... It was a little bit of a weirdness. Please stop slapping my ass. You're really going to stand there. Oh, I am mad at you. Okay. That works for us. It's about to be so freaking mad at her. Um, are you... What the... What is this? What is this? A, a giant slab of cement or something? Why can't I walk past that? And by walk, I mean drive. We'll have people get out and shoot now. Okay. Ready to fire. Oh, they're both tyrants. Yeah, you're probably they're probably gonna shoot back too, aren't they? These guys are gonna shoot back if I shoot at them, aren't they? Yep. 
within half perception range, which is what? 25. Yeah, they will both shoot back. Pretty sure this is like 12 and a half. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and a half. Yes, yeah, so that is probably exactly within turn fire range. At which point he will be instantly killed. You have possibly better armor. You zoom out and hover over him, I'll show you a bubble. Ah. I feel like a, a ring on the ground would be better than a bubble. It's, it's very, it's, it's a little, it's, it's like a tiny bit too faded. Just, just a tiny bit, just a tiny bit though. Now question is, do I reload and use this? I mean, we can reload for free, so I guess we should. But uh, even if I use booms at this point, we're not going to get close enough I know to get to the shot this. from there. Let's do this. Hit her. Or destroy the building, blowing up her cover. That's actually just as good. I'm hoping that gives Basila a shot. Kind of. Right now I'm mad. <laughs> oh no. It stabbed one of our wheels. Alright. And it moved and deployed a shield, of course. Like, all I want over here is to be able to grab this, and it's like... Damn it, you're making it so hard. Thankfully, apparently, even with the hurt wheels, we can still navigate well enough to turn around. And still get a shot. Right, don't worry about that. Uh, worry about this guy instead. Or that one. One of these guys. I just realized that oriented me in the wrong way. I was like already in the exact spot where I wanted to be. I think this is still good enough though. Let's find out. Camillo, get out. Yeah, I can just move you over by one, grab the stuff, get you back in. We'll be fine. <laughs> good job, me. What's the green? Demos. Laser assault rifle. Where can I get a crumb of that? Let's see. Yes. Ah, now if we... Okay, now we could reach him. Just go ahead and boom blast. And then blast and boom. Here goes nothing. Come on. There it is. That was good stuff. Alright. Move over a little bit, and then hopefully we can get a shot in. Okay, that's enough for the kill. Good. And the other one looks like he's going to die out, too. He's panicked as well. All right, it looks like we're going to be fine. Looks like we're going to be fine. Yeah, there's like one piece of ammo in there. Who cares? Uh, we are, you know, two wheels injured. I'm assuming that means we have a lot less movement range, but... 
It looks like we're probably going to be fine. Finger on the trigger. No, that one's going to die out. Don't worry about him. Uh, phew, the other one's way in the mist. Get into cover. Ready to engage. I mean, you do have a shot through the mist, but he's got shield up. There's a 100% chance to hit here, though. I gotta go for the 100%. Took out the, sh took out the shield. That was worth it. Looks like we can get a grenade over there, too, so... Well, you. There goes the gun. There goes the spitterhead. All right. A tyrant alpha. Okay, they mad now. Yikes! Okay, there's one hiding right there. In the ye old mist. All right. Get over here. Okay, Parrish, I need one in this here. Might work. Really wish you could get will points for bleeds and stuff. Parrish is actually doing so much damage and he's getting like no reward for it and it sucks. Finger on the trigger. Is that guy gonna bleed out? Yes, and he has no restoration, so don't worry. Instead, worry about this one. Took out its head and doing enough damage to bleed it. Although it did restore its own everything. That's fine, I guess. Ah, virus. Oh, well, now he's going to panic. Great. Mine fragger. Minus 10 will points. Oh, that sounds like a joke. Um. Just shoot at this one over here. Got him. Okay. Get out, grab stuff. <laughs> All that for one box. I mean, the boxes have a very old amount of stuff, so it could be a lot of stuff. Now we need to get over here, grab that, and then get out. That's going to be the uh, strat now. Because I believe that is the last one. We're at six out of eight boxes, so if there's two in there, we're done. With that part of it, at least. Alright, Basilla. Yeah, take out the Mind Fragger if you can. And you can, thankfully. Okay. In turn. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Now its armor's gone from the front. Yep, we're probably losing the armadillo at this point. Uh... Trying to think here. If I have you go like this... And then turn around... Then I could have everyone ta get out and take a shot. Uh, let's see. Still not allowed to move Parish because, you know, being able to not move your characters is the best part of playing video games. Let's see if we can get that arm. Go here where we have 100%, but I'd love to hit that arm. 
No luck, of course. Enemy Acquiring target. Oh my god, the lack of accuracy here. What the frick? Oh, that's right, shotgun, duh. I should have. I forgot I switched his weapon. That was my bad. And then, of course, the thing blew up. And it killed everybody inside. That was actually something I was going to ask. All right. Thankfully, there's a restart button. All right. I need to take a break and play something else. <laughs> I actually do need to uh, play RimWorld. Um, I haven't played... I, I have not yet even opened up Ideology. So I'm actually going to save it in the middle of a mission this time. And by the middle, I mean at the start. Yeah. At the start of a mission this time. Can I skip the cutscene? Yes, I can. Okay. Cool. Alright. So I guess next time on Phoenix Point, we'll, we'll, we'll take care of this mission and we'll actually do it right. Uh... We should be able to leave and get everything and get out. We just need to move a little bit uh, faster. Wait, did it change where things were? Yeah, it did. It actually regenerated the whole map. Unless I... I think it did. No, no, no. I thought there was another one down here, though. Wait, what? Yeah, this one, this one was definitely not here. It did at least move the boxes. Weird. That's weird. How do you rate the game so far? How does it compare to XCOM? It doesn't compare to XCOM uh, a lot. I think XCOM is definitely a better game so far. Uh, Presentation-wise, it's and part of this is budget. Let's not pretend it's not. But uh, it, that also kind of makes me like upset about the whole Epic Game Store exclusive thing because you know I thought the whole point of going there was that they were going to give you a budget, but maybe they just didn't give you enough of a budget. Um, well, that's not here nor there. Uh, part of it is budget, obviously, because presentation, I think XCOM has a lot of advantages there. I actually like this UI more than I think I like the XCOM one. Like, the characters at the bottom left, the weaponry on the right is more clear in this game than it is in XCOM, um, as are the icons at the bottom. But the, the UI of... Well, the not the UI, um, I guess the rest of the interface, the... Uh, non-interactive parts of it. This stuff here. I don't think it's nearly as clear as it could be. As I've said, I think it obfuscates way too much information. And I don't think that's clever. I think that's actually just not good. <laughs> like... I don't know. It's the same... I think it's the same issue that that um for why i think darkest dungeon actually is like the best example of difficulty because it does it right it doesn't darkest dungeon obfuscates almost nothing like yeah you when you level up or when you go to the next level you get enemies with new attacks you get new enemies which could be a surprise but you choose when it goes to the next that next level of difficulty other than that everything is laid out for you you have all the information available you know how to make everything better. They they took a really simpli simplified, streamlined approach to giving you everything that you need to know to play the game and to do well at it. And I think XCOM is not as good at it as Darkest Dungeon, and this game is worse than XCOM at it. And I think that's a big deal when it comes to how your game manages difficulty. Uh, but yeah, obviously there are obvious improvements to it over XCOM. The VAT system that it has is very neat. We shouldn't call it VATs, though, because that makes it sound like, you know, the Fallout, the later Fallout games were great, and they're not. Um, I feel like we're giving those games too much credit by calling it VATs. Uh, I think it's good. I think it's a good game. I definitely think it's a good game. I just think XCOM... If you have to compare these side by side, which it, that temptation is extremely strong because they have the same lead designer, XCOM is still a better game. 
but that doesn't mean Phoenix Point's a bad game. It also, there's also the obvious, like, I have not fully figured out how the difficulty curves yet. It obviously, it feels like right now it curves, like, it has a a higher degree turn than I was thinking it would. You know, not quite a 90 degree turn. It doesn't slap you against the wall like it sometimes feels XCOM did. But that was mostly experience, and I think it's part of that is the case here, too. But that experience would be much easier to gain if it was easier to get information on your enemies and yourself. And I feel like the way that you have to click through a bunch of things to do it, it it's not obvious enough. Anyway, like I said, I'm going to save in the middle, at the beginning of this particular one. Is this five? Yeah. Ooh, you get another icon whenever you save in the middle of a battle. I like that. I do like these little touches, but... And you know what? And you know what? This is still better than Mountain Blade Warband. Or B Bannerlord. Warband is actually an excellent game. Bannerlord, it's such a mess. <laughs> um... Alright. That is gonna be it. For today's stream. Uh... Hope you guys had a good time. We'll come by again probably next week and try again. And then I don't know what I'm going to do Saturday. Maybe I'll play more Spore on Saturday again. But like I said, I got some other games I got to be playing right now. I got to get into ideology and see what that's all about. Have a good time, everybody. Hope to see you next week.